It really is a life-changing experience to get a needs dog. We could not do what we do and put out world-class service dogs without our volunteers. I was looking for a volunteer project for my family to do. And so this was when they were really able to be hands-on. They're warm and small and cute and fun, but yet we knew kind of in the back of our minds, say there's a purpose behind this. You know, beyond giving back was being able to kind of get the best of both worlds, having, having a dog with me. And also really be able to make an impact in someone else's life. Once I found out that we could do uh, full-time raising, I said, sign me up. Our full-time raisers do it all. They do obedience, they do socialization, they're caring for the dog 24-7. We do provide all food and medical support. Most people with their own dog would have to worry about that you don't necessarily have to worry about. And we start them from itty bitty little puppy, teaching them how to properly loose leash walk. We teach them how to sit, they will learn their lefts from their rights, how to go under something and lay down, how to jump on something, put their two front paws on something, how to stay. We will teach them how to speak, how to shake. We practice the skills sort of in isolation first, and then we go out into the real world and practice them live. And every week we will either meet them out in public or here on campus, and we'll walk them through how to socialize our dogs in public, what kind of places are helpful to take our dogs, what to do in those places. Build the confidence so that down the road, when the dog learns all of those advanced tasks, that they're able to do it because of the base that they've been given because of the razors. Our razors are always saying, we don't want to break the dog. You're not going to break our dogs, we promise. And we're there every step of the way. If I want to take a break for a couple days, if I really get stressed out or something, then they have people that will take those dogs for a couple days, give you a little break if you need it. Needs is wonderful. They're always available for questions via email or phone or even like a personal one-on-one. -on -one. Time commitment's about 12 to 16 month process that you may have this dog from puppyhood to a year and a half old. From the time I get up to the time I go to bed, the dog's on my mind, whether he's with me or whether it's time to put him in his kennel. I think it took maybe like a week or two for us to get into a routine. The programming is is set in such a way that it's, it's slow and it's cumulative. It's catered to the razor's life. You can kind of tailor the schedule to your own, and that's really nice. It's really hard not to fall in love with our dogs. They're amazing. They become a part of your family. And then at the very end, of course, then we have to prepare you for saying goodbye to the dog and letting the dog go. When you go to a graduation and you see this person with the dog and how connected they are and how much the dog can help them and give them independence, that is really the big picture and what we all kind of strive for. And it was amazing. You realize there's just a higher purpose that's going on here and to be part of that is, uh, is really special. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the dog, let the dog enjoy you. The joy that we get from it is, I think, unmatchable. It's the best volunteer project I've, I've ever done. Just commit to it and um, you know, know that you are doing something really good for other people.